American Gothic, one of the most famous American paintings in history, also one of the most parodied. How did this iconic painting come about, and what made it so well known in our culture? Well, it was painted by an artist from Iowa named Grant Wood, who had studied the modernist painting style in Europe. In 1930, he wanted to portray a bit of the culture of the region where he was raised, and came up with the idea of painting a somewhat rural couple in front of a quaint home. Many American artists were doing similar paintings at that time in a style known as regionalism, which was in contrast to the European modernist style that was prevalent at that time. Wood had a painter friend drive him around Eldon, Iowa in search of a house that would serve as the perfect background for the painting when he noticed a home owned by a couple named Gideon and Mary Jones that was built in the Carpenter Gothic architectural style. He made a sketch of the home and took it back to his studio where he would use it for the project. He then used his sister Nan and his dentist Dr. Byron McKeeby as models for the couple in the painting. Since the dentist was 32 years older than Nan, she was a bit uncomfortable about being portrayed alongside of him, so Grant distorted her face a bit in order to conceal her identity as the model. The couple in the painting has been seen as a middle-aged couple by some and as father and daughter by others. Although the painting was done well into the 20th century, it was meant to portray the culture of small-town America from the 19th century. The woman's dress is a colonial print, which is reflected in the curtains of the Gothic window in the background. The vertical lines of the Gothic architecture are reflected in the pitchfork and the man's clothing. American Gothic received little attention at first, winning third place and a cash prize of $300 in a competition at the Art Institute of Chicago. As luck would have it, however, Large newspapers in Chicago, New York, and Boston soon began to use the image to depict the culture of the Midwest, and like the Mona Lisa, it became a part of pop culture as well as the art world. The 1960s TV series Green Acres, for example, featured Arthur Douglas and his wife Lisa posing in front of their farm home in Hooterville in a similar fashion. The painting has been interpreted various ways by the public, because the woman is looking away with a pained expression on her face, some see it as a satirical commentary on the Puritanism found in that region of the country. Others see it as a tribute to the values and work ethic of the Midwest, and still others see it as little more than a simple portrait. It's this openness to interpretation and Wood's blending of American and European sensibilities that makes American Gothic the iconic work of art that it is. I'm Rod Saunders for Jew and Greek. Thanks for watching.